Good evening and welcome to NNX, where we give you campus news faster than you can eat a bowl of mac and cheese. I'm Max Rothbetter. And I'm Liz Caslo. Let's dive right into tonight's stories. We begin tonight with the immigration crisis in Chicago. Texas Governor Greg Abbott has now sent over 1,900 migrants from the southern border to the Windy City. Most of the migrants travel by bus and arrive here at Union Station. Several local organizations have stepped up to support the asylum-seeking migrants, including the Salvation Army, which is serving as a temporary shelter. Chicago's Interfaith Community for Detained Immigrants is providing migrants with everything from warm clothes to snacks and medical supplies. Volunteers from the organization's Transit Assistance Program are delivering these supplies directly to the hotel rooms where some of the migrants are staying. Well, they are human beings just like us, so uh, they are in need of support and uh, this is our time to help them. And Logan Skijano, who visited Union Station in downtown, joins us now. Logan, tell us more about what happens once the migrants arrive to Chicago. Well, Max, once they get off that bus at Union Station, typically they're separated by full families and single men, and they're brought onto CTA buses and bus throughout the city to different shelters and hotels which are being used to house the migrants. And Logan, what are some of the other ways that these local organizations are helping to support these migrants? Well, places like the Salvation Army Max give them phones so they can call family and friends who are staying in the area so they can potentially link up with them. They're also helping with the legal process as well as finding them a perm permanent residence and place to work. Thanks, Logan. Liz? Now for some Evanston-focused news. This month marks National Hispanic Heritage Month, an annual event celebrates the culture of Evanston Hispanic, Latinx, and Latino communities. Flags adorn Fountain Square as Evanston Pride hosted Una Fiesta Hispana last Thursday. Activities and entertainment like flamenco dancing, the Lotteria games, and a piñata and tables showcasing Evanston's Hispanic and queer-owned businesses showcase culture and bring the Evanston community together. For some, the celebration is about creating visibility. We are uh, really interested in getting our culture uh, be shown in the community, our children, new generations, to feel proud of our culture. To find more events happening for National Hispanic Heritage Month, be sure to check out the City of Evanston's website. Another event kicking off Hispanic and Latinx Heritage Month is Northwestern's Latinx student group's Alianza's annual welcoming event, Bienvenida. Latin American flags line the walls of the Multicultural Center as students rang in Latinx Heritage Month on Friday. After a year of hosting events with limited funding and spaces, Alianza was able to unite students under one roof. The event featured catered food from Tamate and performances from Latinx singing and dance groups on campus. The organization's external president says that their group is vast and diverse. We're many in numbers and we all like, deserve our spaces. And so I feel like with this event, we want to sort of show that. So Bridget Aduwadier joins us now. What was the process for organi organizing this event? Yeah, so it was actually a really fast-paced event. Over the course of two weeks, Alianza partnered with Multicultural Student Affairs, publicizing their event and helping them to find a space to host students and performers. And so if students are interested, how can they find out more about the organization? Yeah, so Alianza has an Instagram page where they publicize all their events. You can follow them at nu underscore Alianza. They also are at the club fair every year and they have their own page on Northwestern's Wildcat Connection website. Thanks, Bridget. Liz? This Wednesday, Northwestern released the designs for the new Ryan Field. The stadium will serve as a year-round community space, a venue for concerts, intramural sports, and other gatherings. The $800 million stadium will include a state-of-the-art canopy, public green space, increased accessibility, and a new modern look. All of this while offering 12,000 fewer seats. Construction is planned to start at the end of 2023. Shifting into some Evanston news, a shop in town is reopening its wardrobe after a COVID hiatus to help families in need. The Evanston School Children's Clothing Association, or ESCA, has served K-8 students since the 1930s. The store provides a shopping experience to families in need. Volunteers and donors alike support this shop, especially as in-person appointments reopen. Opening a wardrobe and opening their hearts to everyone who comes their way. 
family recently arrived from Central America and um, literally came with backpacks and nothing else. And um, they were they had arrived on Tuesday night and they were able to get clothes on Saturday morning. To volunteer with ESCA, visit ESCCA.org slash volunteer. Another initiative promoting equity, Northwestern University has started a new program focusing on inclusion among faculty. A $16 million grant specifically calls for NU Feinberg School of Medicine to hire over a period of a few years underrepresented faculty. The program is referred to as Nurture, after the acronym Northwestern University Recruitment to Transform Underrepresentation and Achieve Equity. Nurture includes support to help these new faculty looking to bridge inequities. Across the country, um, there are very few senior level or professor level faculty uh, who are tenured and uh, from underrepresented backgrounds. Faculty say they are eager to set this project in motion. From a grant to new changes with the campus coffee scene, new construction is set to brew some changes on the ground level of North, and some students expresso how they feel. The iconic Starbucks Mermaid logo is replacing the Dunkin' Donuts in the Student Center. Shake Smart, a smoothie shop, is set to replace the current Starbucks, which most students know as Norbucks. The Starbucks menu is generally more expensive than the Dunkin' alternative. Some say... Coming downstairs for the first time, like August 30th, and seeing walls, seeing her face, it's really hurtful, actually. The new Starbucks location is expected to open this March. From a new change at Norris to a new fluffy face on campus, Northwestern's president Michael Schill has a furry pal that moved with him to NU. NNN's Andrew Rowan digs into the story. How do you like this, Max? It's a story you've probably heard before. When I was growing up, my parents wouldn't let me have a dog because they rightfully believed that I wouldn't take care of it. Just maybe not from a university president. When I became president of the University of Oregon, I said, well, I really want a dog, but everyone thought that with my, my travel um, that I wouldn't uh, be able to take care of him. But then COVID happened. They were all like probably worried about my sanity. And so they said, yeah, let's get a dog. And after reference checks, some calls, and waiting. <laughs> there were no dogs available. Max arrived to the doorstep of new Northwestern president, Michael Schill. Yes, 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 yes. I mean, it's been wonderful. I mean, he is the best dog. Max came from a Texas shelter, and Schill doesn't know much about his history. He estimates his canine companion is now between five and seven years old. He loves Evanston. I mean, he loves the campus. I mean, just think of all, if you were a dog, all the places that you could go. Don't be afraid to say hi if you see the duo walking around campus. A lot of times students have left dogs at home oh and so they miss their dogs and so they're always welcome for a good pet. Although president of the oh, Wild oh. Cats, Shill is proving a dog is still man's best friend. What do you see? What do you see? Andrew Rowan, Northwestern News Network. Thanks, Andrew. That's pretty possum. <laughs> I don't know about you, Max, but I really want to meet President Schill's dog. I'm missing mine from home so much. Yeah, you know, I don't have a dog at home, but that President Schill's dog looks adorable. And him and I share a name, which means we're probably going to be good friends. Um, what do you think? You're definitely destined for each other. And if President Schill is looking for a dog walker, I'm definitely available. There. Well, that's all the time we have for tonight. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the Northwestern News Report and Politicat coming up next. I'm Liz Casalo. And I'm Max Rothfeder. Have a great night.